Hi everyone, it's Diana Palm, The Love Witch. And in today's episode, we're gonna be talking about a soul opening experience. People come to me all the time in different states of grief, loss, pain, rejection, all the difficult things. That's when people truly seek healing and that's when they usually reach out. So I get to work with people in some of their darkest moments in life. But I find that it's so beautiful because it's in the darkness, it's in those moments of despair, loss, and sorrow that our soul cracks open wider. And we call that a soul opening experience because it's by design. It's designed to open you up more spiritually. It's designed to help you be more compassionate, more tuned in, more authentic, and even for you to have more empathy towards others going through similar life experiences. A soul opening experience can be when you're absolutely stripped down to nothing and you need to rebuild your life. This can come from divorce, death, breakup, loss of any kind. It can come through job loss, a big move, a move across country, a move to a different country, or moving out of your parents' house, a big life change where a big turn of events has put you out into the world with no solid, stable grounding under you and you're basically just relying upon the universe to grab you and to catch you and help you through the transition. This is when our souls really open the most and when we learn to have the most faith. As we move through these experiences, if we can be mindful of our vibrations so we don't get stuck in the fear, we can actually use that soul opening experience to really get to the next higher vibration spiritually, which means that we can become enhanced like Diana 2.0, Diana 3.0, yeah. You can keep getting enhanced versions of yourself as you heal and grow spiritually. You may find that you get more spiritual gifts, that you have a more open heart, that your life is more at ease, that you feel more peaceful inside, that your friends are more in alignment with you, that it's easier for you to be productive and effective at work, that more abundance is pouring to you in every avenue of your life. That's what happens when you incrementally go up in vibration. So as you go through soul opening experiences, they are meant to shape you and you should be very gentle with yourself as you're going through these amazing transitions. You don't want to move through one and not reap the rewards of the spiritual enhancement that it can offer. Some people can get stuck in the poor me. They can get stuck in bitterness and anger and life is unfair and, and go on and on and on. And when they're in that energy, they're literally blocking the spiritual gift. They are not allowing themselves to have a soul opening experience. And this is normally when I see a very hardened shell around somebody spiritually. And if you have spiritual sight, you can also see like a gray dark energy form around them where they're just getting more and more negative and trapped and held back in life. And they can start to create a lot of illness for themselves and a lot of bad luck when they're experiencing this. At some point, life will bring another soul opening experience to crack open this this energy and free it and let all of that gunk out, that unhealed emotion, the woe is me, the poor me, everyone did everything wrong to me, the blame, the guilt, the shame, and release it and then have another opportunity to become elevated. It would be pretty uncommon not to have a soul opening experience. Those are also written into our timeline. It is very, very unusual for somebody to be born live through a very, very peaceful existence and just keep ascending on their spiritual path without one of these. It can happen. So I don't want to take away from you if you've been living a pretty peaceful, perfect life all along. But for most of us, we've come here to experience large leaps forward. We're here to do some really substantial work. And because of that, coming down at the vibration of most humans, we need to be cracked open here and there and here and there to really get the most out of it, to really have a lot of soul opening experiences, to jump ahead, to really tune in, and to really become at peace with our gifts and our life path. So if you've been suffering, if you've gone through this, I'm with you, I know, I've gone through it. I don't know any leaders in the spiritual arena that have not had many soul opening experiences, starting from early childhood. The more you've had, if you've utilized them, 
the more in tune you are and the more spiritual gifts you have. So I want you to kind of shift your perspective around that. Give gratitude and thankfulness for all the difficulties you've been through already. Release what goes with it, all the bad energies, blame, guilt, all of that. Just release that along with this so that you can really move forward really with leaps and bounds and really be a powerhouse in your life. Really claim your spiritual gifts. Claim your abundance. Claim your love. Claim your health. You've been through it for a reason and you created the reasons you wanted to get here. So if you've been through this, if you didn't realize that a soul opening experience was a blessing, then take a moment to let that settle in. Take a moment to really absorb that so that it's easier for you to release all the things that you've held anger towards and resentment towards. Allow yourself to find that space of more comfort, ease, and forgiveness about your life experiences that have been painful so that you can truly embody who you meant to be. I talk about the soul opening experience quite a lot because that's how a person really finds out who they are authentically, who they are on the inside. And that's really the design behind my manifesting your soulmate system. We come in with programs and then we're programmed by life and we play out roles with each other. And in order to get down to the nitty gritty, get down to the core of who you are so that you can attract your soulmate, you need to have a soul opening experience to get real, to get honest, to get to break out of the patterns, the roles, and the whole paradigm of the life that you may have been living very unconsciously. In my Manifesting Your Soulmate system, I help people do this through an easy process. I go into their subconscious mind through a meditation process and pull out the belief systems that were instilled through group consciousness, through the genetic family, and through role playing so that they can become really authentic with who they really are as a soul, which always attracts their soulmate. Your soulmate can't recognize you when you're clouded with all the other stuff around you. So having this opening experience and rising through that allows you to be the perfect magnet for your highest potential soulmate, for the person that has also done the work, gone through this soul opening experience themselves, risen, and now you're both standing there with no armor, illuminated and perfect for each other. Perfect to come together, ready to be together. So if you're looking for love, be sure you check that out. It's also helpful for healing all of your inner childhood wounds just to get really clear with who you are. The program helps enhance all relationships. Give me a heart below if you've experienced a soul opening experience and what moved you through that to where you are now. If you like this video, be sure to give me a like down below, subscribe and share it with your friends. I can't wait to see you in the next episode.